Okay, I am back with significantly less production value, and today I'm going to be talking about The Call by Pato O'Gillian, which, if you couldn't tell by it not being in the least bit phonetic, is an Irish name. Now, some background information. I am a reasonably big horror fan, and subsequently it has become harder and harder for me to get scared. Due to this, I was sort of looking for something that might scare me, and I was browsing a couple of articles about the scariest books ever, and one which kept recurring was The Call, which is not actually a dedicated horror book per se. It's quite broad with its genres, it overlaps quite a few. Um, it could be categorised as dystopian or fantasy. It's also YA, which I don't typically read a lot of, but people were so vivid with their reviews of how this book really terrified them that I thought I might give it a go. Uh, the story is set in Ireland, um, in the future, I've no clue which island, and basically thousands of years ago the Irish people drove away a race of people called the Shiva, which is again not even trying to be phonetic, and condemned them to a uh, different world, which to say the least is not the loveliest. So naturally the Shiva began to kidnap Irish adolescents into their world and uh, hunt them down and kill them. The catch is that they can only keep them there for 24 hours, which translates to three hours in our time, and once they've taken uh, adolescent, they can't try to take them again. Don't ask me how or why. Um, the mortality rate is subsequently very high. If I remember correctly, it was one in one out of a hundred, but the government sort of caught on implemented strategies and got it down to one in ten, which is still crazy to have 90% of your population dying. So naturally, uh, the population is dwindling and there are major systemic and societal issues. The book follows a number of different perspectives all of whom are Irish adolescents yet to undergo the call. The protagonist Nessa actually suffers from polio, which adds an interesting narrative dimension as it places her at a colossal immediate disadvantage uh, when she is actually called. Now, what did I think of the book? Well, did it actually scare me? It didn't, but did this affect my opinion of the book? No, it didn't. Um, I don't think it was the author's primary intention with the text to scare people. Uh, however, I do feel that the book still left a lot to be desired. It, if I were to generalise it, I'd perhaps say it was a case of interesting idea, not the best execution. The main thing which limited my enjoyment of the book was the prose. Um, especially early on, there is a lot of exposition, and it is not delivered in a particularly creative way at all. It's just sort of thrown at you and it constantly broke immersion whenever it did rip me out of the text. Um, outside of that, the prose is, in my opinion, still fairly clunky. There are weird turns of phrase and a couple of bizarre metaphors. Um, nevertheless, you could uh, read it and be fine with it. It's just how I felt. Um, I actually do think the let's say, unique prose enabled what the book uh, was actually best at, in my opinion, which was the world building. Um, the she, the world is truly horrible and uh, not at all somewhere you'd ever like to go. Not only are you being hunted down by a much more powerful race of people, there are all manner of flora and fauna which are out to get you too. Not only did he do a good job with the she, the world, I'd actually argue he did a better job with the Irish, uh, or island we see. Uh, there is a constant permeating sense of dread and despair which hangs over everyone, especially the teenagers who can literally be snatched away at any second. And I believe the government response to the situation was actually contextually believable, which perhaps served to uh, reinstall some of the immersion lost. I didn't find there was a great deal of character development throughout the text. Um, only one character I can think of actually changed significantly from the beginning to the end. 
which you could attribute to it being a fairly short book, but I, uh, I don't think that's much of an excuse. Um, the pacing of the book was, I mean, I'd say it was adequate. There was no point where I thought, oh my god, I have to put this down, it's terrible. That being said, there was also no point where I thought, I can't put this down, it's amazing. If my problems with the book haven't turned you off and you actually think the premise sounds interesting, I'd actually say go ahead and give it a go. It certainly delivers on that front. Just be wary that it comes at the cost of some non-too-tactful exposition. Uh, there is a sequel. At this point in time, I'm not too interested in picking it up. The ending of this book was cathartic enough and the problem significant enough that I, yeah, I'm just not interested in giving it a go. Um, that said, I could change my mind in the future. It's, uh, it, it wasn't terrible by any means. Uh, have you read The Call? If so, what did you think? Uh, I'm still looking for a book that will actually scare me, so if you know any, let me know. Uh, other than that, like, subscribe, uh, peace.